Love has a temperature. A relationship has a temperature. And if the temperature drops, a vacuum, a void opens in the relationship and every vacuum asks to be filled. And that's where the great danger is. Yes, and many people, they think, what am I losing? I am here expecting, waiting for attention and love, but out there, at work, I can't find this. Other people offer me this and they face that dilemma. Am I wasting my time with this person? Will I be happy with someone else or enjoying my life or feeling loved, feeling desired? And all these things comes to a person's mind. And they even start to plan, to visualize, to think or if I'm not with this person anymore, how would that be? Until the moment they separate. Yes, betrayal can happen because today it's very common to have competition in a relationship since you have work, friends, studies, dreams, career. Many things start to compete with your partner. And if you're not careful, you can easily take your attention from the marriage and put on other things and to let the other to feel put to the side. And then coldness starts in the marriage and every vacuum asks to be filled. Many betrayals start with this. Not that it justifies it. We always teach here in the love school, deep down, betrayal is a lack of character. It is an inner battle. They betray their own principles if they ever had any. And as I've heard before, those who don't assist generate competition. And unfortunately, this applies when the marriage is already weak. One of the reasons a couple, they get cold, is grudges. I know that one thing is for you to have a disagreement and for you to sort it out. You got into a disagreement, you came to a conclusion and it is sorted. Another thing is to have something between both of you and you brush it under the rug. There is a grudge, you don't speak about this anymore. So people get hurt with each other until they reach to a point that they don't see each other with the other person anymore because they are really hurt. They are grudgeful. Yes, fights must be resolved and quickly. It's not the fight that will make a couple to become cold. They need to solve the problem. Yes, they are the unresolved or never resolved fights, which was our case. We fought for the very same reasons and they would come back. Unresolved fights, they return and they come back worse with revenge, with luggage, with hate. And sometimes this makes us tired. Yes, and it wears out the relationship. We have seen and dealt with many couples where one needs a lot of attention. At times the husband or the wife, they need attention, care, they like to be touched and they like to talk and the other is more reserved. They can live with little attention, little physical touch because they are more self-sufficient or reserved. And that doesn't mean one is right and the other is wrong. They are just different. However, an infallible recipe for letting your garden die or wearing down your spouse is that you do not meet their needs. You need to be attentive to the needs of your husband or wife, which are not necessarily and rarely the same as yours. We make many mistakes in treating the other as we want to be treated in this matter of preference for attention and affection, which doesn't always work. Yes, there are those plants that you need to water every day and there are other plants that you don't need to water every day, otherwise they'll die. And each person, they have their own way. And an interesting thing, Renato, is that the person who really wants to have attention gets married to someone who does not like much attention. And the one who likes to receive attention, gives too much attention to someone who does not like. 
and the other does not see the need because they are receiving a lot. But what I have noticed is that attention is necessary in every relationship. Let the person be independent, they don't need as much attention as the partner, but all relationships, they need a type of attention. It's like the plant needs the water. The matter is to know which and how. Yes, and how much, how many times, somehow just once a week, anyway. But attention, it is an essential ingredient in a relationship. And what happens? As the other person is not seeking for attention, they are independent, they are really busy. The other person thinks like this. Ah, he doesn't mind that. But in that moment, you are leaving a hole because another person can come and give the attention that your partner needs or another things. Maybe it can be a hobby, it can be a game, it can be a friendship. The other person starts to come inside of the couple's life and takes the place of the husband or the wife. Hence, observing what kind of attention your spouse wants is important. We are not always attentive to that. We think that what they want is what we like. We're not always the same. And if you don't know it, it's so simple. Just ask. How can I be more attentive towards you? What do you like me to do to you? Or what don't you like me to do to you? There are some who think that the spouse is too clingy. Some don't like to be too clingy. So you need to be balanced that you may attend to their needs and that they may flourish, that they may be at their best when they are cared for. If today's video helped you and you know someone that could benefit from it, share it with them and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, you may do so now. See you later.